never asked for anything before. We've kind of been struggling a little financially. We're very grateful for this. It's very helpful. To me. Long lines in Raytown tonight as families showed up to get a little help for the holidays. Good evening, I'm Kevin Holmes. Thanks for watching KSHB 41 News On Air and your favorite streaming device. Right now, about 13% of people in Kansas and Missouri are food insecure, so that means they don't know where their next meal is coming from. And the numbers are even higher for children, folks. Here's a look at Feeding America's predictions for 2021. In Kansas, 19% of children are food insecure. In Missouri, that number stands at 15%. And those numbers, just that number, that's what you see until these real impacts in our community right here. Our reporter Megan Abundance introduces us to a local church making a difference. Uh, it's going to be a busy night, and uh, so work together. The team at Raytown Chapel Church are hoping tonight oh, many hands make light work. Amen. Happy early Thanksgiving. Be well. Pastor Abby Pepper says they know that food brings everybody together. There's been an increased food insecurity. The one thing that we can do with our brand new um, kitchen is cook meals and deliver them out our front door. And so um, tonight we will surpass 4,000 meals since last September. And look at how fancy that dressing looks. Something they do every two weeks. They'll serve more than 300 meals, but tonight is special. Thanksgiving. We give thanks. It's his first Thanksgiving. We spoke with people who were parked waiting for not only a hot dinner, but a Thanksgiving kit of groceries for later. We've kind of been struggling a little financially, so we thought it would be a good idea to come here. Being retired and having my daughter and her two children moved in with us, that uh, it kind of helps in these times. Between job loss and stretched budgets. We've never asked for anything before. Pastor Pepper wants others to know there's help and community. It's there. It is there. Single individuals to families. We see large numbers. Like we see families of at least seven um, different generations living in the same household uh, that have had to move in together during this time. Most people we talk to tonight say they have jobs, go to work every single day, but say it just isn't enough to provide that special holiday meal. And by this line, you can see that the need is real in Raytown. We're very grateful for this. This is very helpful to us. Megan Abundis. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. KSHB 41 News.